What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel here today at 88 Rotors Off-Road. We've been super busy and I haven't had too much time to edit some of the videos I've taken, but here I am. I actually came in early today just to catch up and create some more content to upload before the day gets busy. We have a cool Tundra compilation for you guys to enjoy. But real quick before we get started, what's everyone's take on the new 2022 Tundra? Goodness, that thing looks amazing, right? And I feel like it's not going to disappoint either. I can't wait to get mine in. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because I will be posting the delivery and to show you guys what I have planned for it. Who else has one on order? Drop a comment down below. Anyway, let's jump right into this video here. Here's a 2021 Tundra TRD Off-Road 4x4 in a nice army green color. This is pretty much what you'd call a final edition for the second generation. I know some people call this the third gen, but to me, it's actually really just a second gen with the facelift since they changed it from 2014 until now in 2021. Here's the MR312s and an 18x9 with a plus 18 offset that we're installing with some 35, 12 and a half, 18 BF Goodrich All-Terrain KO2s. We're gaining a couple inches of lift in the rear with some lift shackles and we're dampening it with some King's 2.5 remote reservoir rear shocks. In addition to the body mount chop that you see our tech performing here to clear the 35 inch tires, we're lifting the front end about 3 inches with some King's 2.5 remote reservoir front coilovers. In order to maximize articulation and performance of the front end, our customer decided to mate these Kings up with a nice set of Camberg tubular uniball upper control arms. Our body mount chop gives you an additional 1.5 inches of tire clearance. I've seen some people hack the heck out of the body mount by cutting away way more than necessary. We've gotten this down to a science though. We only cut as much that's needed so it doesn't look horrible but enough to clear 35s. When upsizing tires, it's very important to get your suspension dialed in properly with the lift. You also need to run the correct wheel specs. You have to clear the space with a proper chop and fender liner modification. And last but not least, a proper alignment with your caster fine-tuned is extremely crucial to clearing the tires properly. Miss any one of those and you'll be rubbing every time you go up a driveway or when you're articulating off-road. Swinging over to the other rack, here's a cement gray supercharged Toyota Tundra. This one's in for a king setup as well. Have you guys been wanting Kings but realize it's never available whenever you go looking for it? King currently has a build time of about 9 or more months. But luckily, if you live close to us, we have them pre-ordered and currently have them sitting on the shelf and ready to go. If you want a set of Kings for your Tundra, please give us a call and set up an appointment for installation. Unfortunately, we are not shipping these at the moment due to the major shortage. Our shop, 88 Rotors, is located in the city of South Del Monte, which is about 20 minutes east of downtown Los Angeles in California, USA. If you're looking to get some work done by us, please give us a call anytime during regular business hours of 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. weekdays and 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturdays, or you can always message us by clicking on the link in the description below. Some part numbers of the BF Goodrich All-Terrain KO2s give you an option of the raised white lettering as you can see here. Most people ask for the white lettering to be on the inside. Which one of you guys like it on the outside? I guess the white lettering does look good on some trucks, mainly depending on the mods and the color scheme they have going on. What color do you think the raised white lettering looks the best on? Comment below! Once all four wheels and tires are mounted onto the vehicle, we're going to bring it down to the ground and torque the wheels down to spec. We're then going to take it out for a quick test drive before we hand the keys back over to the customer. Once the suspension settles after driving for about 200 miles or a week, whichever comes first, the alignment should be performed. We hope that you guys are enjoying this video so far. If you do so, please find time to click on that thumbs up. It makes a big difference for this video and the channel itself and it definitely encourages us to make more videos like this for your viewing pleasure. All of the factory parts are being loaded back up into the truck bed along with the OEM wheels and tires before we roll the vehicle out.
Next up, we have a 2021 Tundra Tier D Pro in Lunar Rock. We did a body mount chop on this one, and we're adding a shim and shackle setup on it so we can keep the factory TRD Pro Fox suspension intact. With those mods, we're able to clear some 35 12 and a half 18 BF Goodrich all-terrain KL2 tires with some Icon compression wheels and an 18x9 with a plus 25 offset. And fast forward, this Tundra is complete. One inch lift all around with some new 35 inch tires. Well, here's a quick test for you guys to see how much you know your exclusive TRD Pro colors. Here's a quick sand, Tundra TRD Pro. Do you know what year this truck is? Comment down below. We'll pick a few comments to reach out to that have the right answer to send out some free merch to. So this Tundra TRD Pro is going with a King setup as well. We're doing the King's 2.5 remote reservoir front coilovers adjusted to about three inches of lift. And we're also doing the lift shackles in the back. The rear end is going to be dampened by the King 2.5 remote reservoir rear shocks that you see here. Here's a closer look of the front end Kings with the Camberg setup and the body mount shop that's completed with a new fresh coat of paint. Get a little bit of dirt on there and it'll match the rest of the underbody in no time. For the new shoes on this one, the owner of the vehicle decided to go with some Feel Vectors in an 18x9 with a plus 20 offset that we paired up with some BF Goodrich All-Terrain KO2s. The KO2s by BF Goodrich are very popular, mainly because they're an amazing tire on road. They're very quiet, yet they're still very capable off-road. So did you comment down below for a chance to get some free merch? What year is this Quicksand Tundra TRD Pro? New suspension, wheels, tires, and the body mount shop is completed on this Tundra. We're gonna bring it out now. Next up, we have a magnetic gray metallic Tundra that's coming in for some work. We're doing an Icon 2.5 setup on the front end and a 2.0 setup in the rear end with some lift shackles on this one. We're also gonna be doing some 35 inch tires and clearing it by doing our body mount job.
For the wheels and tires on this one, the customer decided to go with some Method MR305s, also known as the NV. This is an 18 by 9 wheel with a plus 25 offset that works perfectly with a 35 12 18 KL2s. This clears perfectly with the 3 inch lift and our body mount shop. Let's squeeze in one more Tundra. This one's getting a body mount shop, obviously, that you see here. It's a white Tundra 4x4 TRD off road. We're also doing a King setup on this one. Kings and Camberg. Ah, what a beautiful setup. Keep on watching to see it on the vehicle. And remember earlier when we talked about the KO2s with the white lettering? This customer decided to go with the raised white lettering on the outside, and it looks amazing. Wheel and tire of choice on this one is the same feel vectors as we just installed on the previous Tundra. This one is an 18x9 with a plus 20 offset once again with the KO2s in the 35 12 and a half 18. Raised white lettering on the KO2s on the outside look great on a white Tundra. Drop a comment down below and let us know your thoughts. Let's take a peek underneath so you can see the cambered kinetic billet front upper control arms with the King 2.5 front coilovers. This is going to be the last Tundra for today's video. We're going to wrap it up right after this one. Thank you very much for stopping on by and checking us out. We greatly appreciate it. Make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And turn on that notification bell if you haven't already. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other. Later, guys.